Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thought I'd catch you out. Is it a Monday? Well, guess what? It's me. I thought I'd come and have an early crafty catch up. So, how are things going? How's your week started? All right, I hope. Have you got a brew? I bet you didn't, did you? I bet thinking it was Monday, you didn't. Well, you've got time now. Quickly, get that kettle on. Or to be honest, it's so warm. Get some cold water out the fridge. So I'll give you a minute to get yourself a nice drink and then we can get together and have a bit of a bit of a crafty time together. The ironic thing is today we're going to make a Christmas design because let's face it, it's never too early to make Christmas cards, is it? Especially if you've got a lot to make. I must admit, I demonstrated this one at our uh, Lavinia Fairy Fest and um, it was so popular, so many of the ladies asked if I could do a YouTube on it because they said it was such a useful card for Christmas but they may just forget what they'd seen and I must admit, I'm the same. So, just for you ladies, and I know Janet and Susan, you asked as well, you see, I do remember, well I don't remember much to be honest, not at the minute, but I remember that. So, this is the design and it, to be honest the beauty of it is again I'm just giving you the starting point you could do so many different things from this you could start with your Christmas design and take it you know to the next level you can change it up change the stamps up change the colours up and I've got to be honest this I've stamped in green so this is the shady lane but today we're going to use Chianti just to show you the difference so I'll put that over there I'm going to start with a piece of card. So are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? And this one is five and a half inches square. We'll just get rid of that. You didn't see that, did you? So it's going on a six by six. But to be honest, if you wanted, you could put it on a seven by seven. And I'm not adding a line round because I just want, with it being Christmas, the integrity of white on white. And we're going to start with some stamping. So I'll just get my copy of paper. And the first stamp we're going to use is called Jip. Now, in my head, I think that's short for Gypsophilia, but I must ask Tracy because I could have completely made that up. Now, I'm not sure whether it's pronounced Gip or Jip, but you know what? We'll go for Jip. Beautiful stamp, this, and it's one of the ones that is so useful because don't forget, when you've stamped it, if you want it as foliage, you can add some of the pound stamps. You know the lovely um, leaf stamps? Now, as I say, this is this is Chianti, and we're going to just stamp from the middle, coming down there. And I feel for this stamp because it's almost a bit a bit plain. It's a bit you know, but so useful. And as I say, can add so many things to it. So we'll have one of those. And then next, we're going to bring in this stamp, which is a small branch, which is, again, is one of those such useful stamps. And we're going to carry on with the Chianti. We'll use Chianti for all our stamping today. We're not going to touch Nocturne at all. It's, it's having the week's holiday. So I've just over-inked that a bit. You know what I'm like. Just wipe that off. Now this, I just want it coming at an angle here and as though it's coming from that stem. Lovely. Then we'll put one the other side. And I know it doesn't look much of almost um, a good shape, but in a way we want it this shape so we've got space to hang the baubles. So at this point, don't worry if you're thinking it's a funny shape, this. This is exactly what we want. And also, don't worry at the top here if you overlap that um, because you're going to be adding a bow. So there's a reason we've got that bow. Well, too, obviously it looks nice, it's decorative, but it's great for me because it can hide a multitude of sins. So we'll just give that a blot. Because again, I don't want to smudge it with the next bit. And 
Now, I was asked at the uh, extravaganza why I blot everything so much. And it's just because Versafine Claire is a slower drying ink. And once you've smudged something and you have to start again, you sort of get in your head. But I will turn it over to show you. And look at that, actually, not very much has come off. But to be honest, it's such a warm day. But believe you me, the number of times I do it, and if I hadn't taken that little bit off, it would have smudged. Now, next, we're going to come in with the Christmas charms. Now, these are beautiful. And I'm going to turn my work round again, if you don't mind, just because it's easier for me. Now, they have got quite long hanging bits, these. And to be honest, the first one I'm going to stamp here, so I only want a little bit of the chain. Now, I could just ink up to where I want it and wipe some off, but I'm not sure exactly where I want it. And also, I could mask this off with masking tape, but again, I'm not sure where. So for me, the best thing I can do, or the best thing I find, is just get myself a piece of copy of paper. I just find this quicker because I'm thinking this design will be perfect for batch card making. And that's why it's nice to change the colour up a bit because when I'm batch card making, I almost get a bit bored. So if I can change something up. So what we want to do is look for a space where we can hang this. So, and again, I may just get my head over. So I'm thinking in the middle there. There we go. And if you look, you can see it's hanging from the branch. So we'll have another couple of those. And again, I've just caught that. So I'll have another one over here. So if we have it from there. So I'm sorry, I just need it a bit closer. So if we have it from that one. And then, now I don't I want one this side, but I don't want it to be the same length, do I? So if we have it from this outer one, and I have it quite long, so I've got to put it there, there we go. Because it would just look a bit too silly if they were too symmetrical. So looks a bit funny at the minute, but don't worry, we're going to build it up. So again, just give that just a wipe with a, a wet cloth and then dry it with my inky binky and we'll come into the next one this has got beautiful chain on it this one I like this chain so again just ink it up and I start with furthest away I just find it easiest so I'm thinking let's hang it from that little edge there and as I say, it's easier if you're over the top, so do excuse me when I get my head in shot. But it's worth it, look, because you just need to get it on that edge there. If you don't, if there's a gap, don't worry, it's not the end of the world, because we're going to be adding some liquid pearls, and you just put a little dot of liquid pearls, and nobody will know, because, you know, I won't tell them. Right, let's have one coming from there. And this can be quite a short one. And you see by just using your paper, can you see you get that join lovely. We want one over here, don't we? So we'll link up again. And I'm thinking from this one here. Oh, actually, we'll go from this one. don't want it the same as that, so I want it there. Yeah, just different that height. Now, because I've got three of each of these first two baubles, I'm just going to put two of the next bauble because it'll help just keep it a bit sort of random. Now, I need one here. There's a definite gap there. For some reason, this one, I over-ink it on this bit. Don't know why. But again, at least I know that's what I do. So again, we'll just get rid of that. And I want this one here, don't I? So check where I've got a gap there. Lovely. 
Right, what am I thinking? I could do with one here, but I think I need one here. Let me just turn it round. Yeah, definitely need one here. And possibly up there. We'll see. I'll add this one first and then see. Don't want to overcook it. Because I am going to add my um, liquid pearls. Now, again, if you thought it needed something else, but you didn't want to sort of over, you could always add some glitter to make tinsel. So let's just put this one here and then let's have a look. Oh no, I like that. I might actually put my sentiment there. I'm going to leave it. Let me see by the time I put my bow. Yeah, I definitely don't need a bauble up there. I do this, you know, I talk to myself. Please tell me you talk to yourself as well. Right, so we put those over there and again, we'll give it another little blot. I'm going to leave this one without a sentiment because I like to add it when I know who I'm sending it to. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add some colour and for this we're going to use our watercolour pencils. And the first thing we're going to do is use a yellow and because I've got this um, Chianti Burgundy Coloured Star. I'm just going to go over it with my yellow watercolour pencil and this is why it was important for me to blot it because I want that ink to be fixed and I almost want to give this a golden glow and I'm not going to add water to this I'm just using the watercolour pencil and I'm purposely going over the edge so this is great because it's colouring where you don't have to be neat and if I just lift that up to the camera can you see, I'm not sure if you can see that, how it just gives it that sparkle and reflects. Now again, when it comes to colouring the baubles, you can colour them in whatever colour you want. So it might be, and again, it's like the stamping. I've done this in Chianti, obviously red for Christmas, but it might be, you know, you know, your friend has a lilac on a Christmas tree or gold or golden red. You know, you can colour the baubles whatever shade you want now again i'm just using i'm putting these ones in red and i'm just using a darker red around the outside it's very much a cheat this and then i'm coming in with a lighter red and then when i add the water i'll just blend the two colors together but just by putting the darker color around the edge it'll just give it a little bit more depth than just coloring it one color and it looking a bit flat but it doesn't take anything to do as I say, it's a nice, easy cheat of making it look effective. And I'm afraid for me, I like a bit of that, especially at Christmas. We want to send nice cards, but I just, you know, with the best in the world, haven't got the time to, um, you know, use and spend hours and hours over them. So we've got these here and these have got a nice rim. So what I'm going to do is use a dark green on the edge. and then come in with my light green. I'm just going traditional green and red, but like I say, you could be really funky. You could do them all the same, all one colour, as I say. I wonder what will be the in colour this Christmas, because it does change, doesn't it? It varies. There we go. So I'm going to put my lid on those and then get my paintbrush. And again, this is the number one. You know what I'm like, it's the one I use a lot. And I'm just gonna put my inky binky there because I don't want the, the nib very wet. And we'll start here. And we'll start in the middle to activate that. And then we'll just activate. And I'm hoping you can see when I activate the color around the edge, you can see it's just a deeper red. So again, we'll do this one here. So we'll activate the red in the middle and then just come in with that deeper colour. And like I say, for me, it's just a very pretty, clever, but 
easy way to add colour. So again, the red in the middle, and then look at that lovely deeper colour. And I'm just going to clean my brush, pop it back in, and we'll come into the green, and again in the middle, and then just blend that outside. And the last one. There we go. Now I'm just going to pop my heat tool over that. I would normally just let it dry naturally, but I want to add a little bit of white gel pen to it so it'll be easier if I just give it a bit of a bit of a speed up with my heat tool. And while it's drying, we'll use our BB because we know I have trouble saying bit 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 bitty boppity. <laughs> our Lavinia glue, and again this dries clear. And we'll just pop our bow on there. Pop the lid on. And then let's just see if we're... Oh yeah, we're dry enough. I didn't know if we would be. Just to add a little, just a little dab of white. I just want a little bit of a, of a highlight. Now again, with it being Christmas, if you want to add glitter, that would be lovely. I'm leaving glitter off this. Because um, I don't like to over glitter things. But what I am going to bring in is some liquid pearls. Now remember, liquid pearls have got a problem. They have a bit of wind. So we always start it off on our mat. Yep, and that's working fine. But we'll clean that up. Otherwise, might put our arm in it. And all we're going to do is randomly add some dots. So again, liquid pearls. Just pop your liquid pearls on and lift it up. And I find, to be honest, the quicker you do this, the better. And always start and work furthest away from you. And then you've less chance of putting your hand in and smudging it. And there are little dots on this gyp stamp and on the uh, branch. So it's perfect for adding the liquid pearls. So again, I'm being mindful to not take forever. I find randoms better if I do it quick, if I don't overthink it. And these dots are better if I'm almost a bit speedy about it. So just a few down here. And then I'll turn it round just to have a look. And if I see any areas where I think, oh, I need an extra one, I can just pop in and do an extra one, but I don't want to overdo it. But I think... That's lovely. I'm happy with that. But what I am going to do, which I didn't do on my first, is add a little bit of Posca. So I'm just going to give it a shake. And I'm just going to come in and add some little Posca. And I don't want many. Just it's Christmas. Oh, you've got to do it. And do you know what? I say we don't want many. But it's Christmas. If we have a blizzard, we have a blizzard. Get some on the ribbon, right? I'll just wipe that up, and that's your Christmas design finished. And like I say, how pretty is that? And if I just bring it close, you could put glossy accents on the baubles, that would look beautiful. If I bring in the original. And we just put the two side by side. So as I say, we've got the same design, but obviously just different colour tones. And I've got plenty of room for my nice sentiment here or here. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it's given you some ideas for Christmas. And I have to say, I love that yellow. So for me, I can keep it all tone on tone and stamp the star, even in green or the or the burgundy type colour, but I can still get that yellow, that golden shine on it. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. I hope you have a go at this. And if you do, please tag me in. And if you think of a, a variation on a theme, again, share it. Because it's lovely. We all learn from each other. And we all get ideas from each other. And that's so important. 
So thank you for joining me today. Lovely to be with you on a Monday evening. So I'm just going to go and walk Eric now. Nice walk in the fresh air. Much love and hugs from me. Guess what? I'll see you tomorrow night. Get the kettle on. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.